Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to the Premier League Player of the Month yet again. Hopefully you do enjoy this video. If you do, thumb it up, subscribe if you're new and make sure that you go and follow us on Twitch if you want to see our daily live streams as well. This is the first of two videos going out today. We've also got Future Stars Team 2 which is releasing in a couple of hours from now when I'm recording this and we have a couple of teasers of that already. If we load into Ultimate Team, there's an update on my Xbox. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, what we're going to do is, to be an absolute professional, uh, instead of updating and then recording this video later on, we're going to switch over to the PS4 side of things, because we're just ready for those kind of things, okay? Uh, and what we're going to do is, we are going to show you this SBC on the PlayStation account. So, um, if I quickly go back out and go back in, I swear if there is a PlayStation <laughs> update as well, Oh my goodness, right, so, Ultimate Team, we have got, if it will show us, we have got a couple pretty much confirmed already in, come on, so, uh, Haaland in the middle, Valverde on the left, and then Laudoro Martinez on the right hand side, also uh, one of the teasers of the bottom left and bottom right is Tamori from Chelsea, who is going to be a monster of a card, so, we're going to jump in here to SBCs, and the winner of this, even though Trent is still there, is Sergio Aguero. Interesting that there's an overlap. A little bit bizarre. But okay, so, Pro of the Month, Premier League, Aguero. Now, obviously, Aguero has uh, a couple of other cards this year. And we will very quickly compare his player of the month to those cards. His Scream is his best card. And this card, compared to that Scream, has only two less pace. But one more shooting. Four more passing. Two more dribbling. One more defending. Four less physical. But he has 83 stamina on this card. So it's really not that much of a problem. The one thing is the pace. But he has now got up to the point with this special card that the pace really isn't much of a problem. Now, the one thing that has to be said with this player of the month is it's only one above his latest special card, which is his record breaker, which was a normal performance-based team of the week card. So if he gets one more inform, this card is irrelevant. Now, the player, uh, the record breaker costs about 500k on Xbox and 580k on PlayStation. So realistically, this card should be 500k in order to do an untradeable version that is only a tiny, tiny bit better than that card. That would be logical, right? Because if you're paying 500,000 coins for a tradable one, you shouldn't be paying more than that for an untradable one, even if it's the tiniest bit better. So his stats are obviously amazing. I love Aguero in this game. I would love to get this card, honestly. I would really, really like it, and it's it's incredibly tempting to try and actually go and work towards it. But the requirements are as follows. It's expensive. It's very expensive. Um, wow. So we've got an 85, an 86, two 86s, and two 87s and an 85. Both 86s need a Team of the Week. The 87 needs a Team of the Week. Or one of the 87s needs a Team of the Week. Let's try and find a comparable player like Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder's SPC is 535k. 87 rated squads are 170k. According to this. Does that need an inform as well? No. There's probably going to be a little bit more than that. So we're going to look at 170k for this one. Plus maybe 185k, something like that. Probably just get an 86 rated inform or even like an 88 rated Lukaku inform was going for like 40k before. Um, an 85 rated squad coming in at about 90k. And then we need 86s. So does this require an inform on Sané? It doesn't. So both these 86s are probably going to cost about 135k. This SBC is roughly 700,000 coins. A bit like Ben Yedder, I think they've gone too far with this one. 
It just... Although... With Ben Yedder, at least, he was two ratings above his second inform. So he would need two more informs in order to get to that card. Where it's a Seguero, only needs one more inform for this card to not really be necessary. So 700,000 coins. What packs do we get back? Prime Electron Players Pack is trash. So is a Rare Mix Players Pack. So is a Rare Electron Players Pack. Mega Pack is okay, but not really for getting players. And a Prime Gold Players Pack is pretty trash as well. You might get back 50k. 100k at a push, which would still make it 600,000 coins. It's obviously a very, very good card. Surely Aguero is going to get another inform. That's the thing you've got to compare here. And again, if we're looking at... Then again, wait, wait. So... To be fair, on PlayStation, that wouldn't be a bad price because the record breaker is 580k. So he'd be just about 100,000 coins more, even if your pack luck is trash. That's not bad. On Xbox, where his record breaker is nearly 100,000 coins cheaper, unless the SBC is 100k cheaper, it doesn't look like it'd be worth it. Potentially, because of how easily Aguero is going to get another inform this year. But if we quickly look at his record breaker, I wonder if the prices have changed. Yeah, so his record breaker has now come down by 30,000 coins on PlayStation and also 30,000 coins on Xbox as well. So on PlayStation, it now looks like he's 550k on Xbox, he's less than 500k for this record breaker card. I don't know if the scream has come down at all. Because this player of the month is basically the scream card now. He's still a mill. Which I, I really don't understand. It's bizarre how much more expensive that card is. Um, so if we quickly now go on PlayStation here to... 500k. Let's see if people are panic selling this card or not. Maybe a little bit. 550. 539. If you wanted to buy this Aguero, you're getting a good price for him right now. Honestly. Less than 550k. Again, Xbox is probably going to go even cheaper than it currently is. Could even go down to like 475 or something like that. Which would be mad. Because the card is amazing. He fits this game perfectly. For me, anyway. The way that I play, I absolutely love Aguero. So, I want you guys, obviously, in the comments section to let me know whether you think this is worth it. Is there a loan available? I imagine not, because EA haven't brought out loans for an SBC for ages, for no apparent reason. Uh, if we quickly go to live. Is it in live or is it in players? It is in live. And, of course, there is no loan. So, on my road to glory, this would... <sighs> I mean, getting him into the team if I then had an icon. Man, I don't know. It would be very tempting just because I love Aguero. And I really wanted to get his record breaker. But it's just fitting him in the team as a nightmare. And now that I've got Ben Yedda and Mbappe and Neymar and Messi, he'd have to replace one of those. And I've only just done the Ben Yedda SBC, so it doesn't really make any sense to get rid of him. I don't know, man. It's very tempting. But the thing is, in the time that this card is out for 27 days, Aguero could just get another one, another inform, and then this card's irrelevant. So... I really don't know my thoughts on this one. It's it's not insanely expensive compared to his card on the market. If the SBC costs you maybe 650k, something like that, then it's not awful value. However, it could become meaningless to have an untradable 92 Aguero within a week. 
So I want you to let me know your thoughts down below. I will not be completing this on PlayStation. Xbox, maybe I'll be tempted. But there ain't no chance that I'm spending three quarters of my coins on this account when I could just buy a tradable record breaker one for 540k instead. So let me know if you're going to do Aguero. I am not. Um, as I say, there will be another video up later today, so hopefully you can tune into that one. But thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.